Warriors. It's your girl, Corinne Graham, also known as a Purpose Warrior. Glory to a good God. Glory to a faithful God. I have a word today. And this is a special word. This word has me so fired up and so excited, warriors. And the reason why is this is a fresh word. This is a new word. I can't explain it. But this is a word like never before. Glory to God. This is a word being released on this ministry channel like never before in Jesus name. And what I heard the father say is 911 emergency heart surgery. This is an altar call. Let me say that again. 911 emergency heart surgery. This is an altar call. So, warrior, whoever you are tuning in today, both the old and the new, I welcome you. I send you the blessing. I know with everything in me, if you are here today, it is not by chance nor coincidence. But if you're here, if you clicked on this video, you showed up on purpose for a purpose, and I'm believing in the name of Jesus. Jesus, you will not leave this video today empty handed. And the father gave me specific instructions on how to release this word. He began opening up this word to me yesterday. He began ministering this word to me as I slept all night. Even before I came on to hit record, he had me pause because he wanted me to go and check when this channel was started. And I've been moving so much. I've been so focused that I didn't even realize warriors that July 5th was the three-year anniversary of this ministry, of this channel. All glory be to God. And so I know this is a special word because he's coming with this word in a few directions. And I understood it earlier this morning when he, when I heard him say, this is an altar call yesterday. I understood how he was using this word. So please, if this word blesses you, even if it's just one, I just ask that you drop it in the comments. Amen. That this word spoke to you in Jesus name, because the father is saying 911 emergency heart surgery. So he's truly coming for our hearts. And he even has me scheduled to release this word today at 10, 10 a.m. So I'm believing God that all is well. And this will be one of those premiere releases because he said this has to be a premiere release and it's getting released at 10 10 a.m. All glory be to God because he was showing me that in John 10, 10, it says a thief comes, but to steal, kill and destroy. But I have come that they may have life in that much more abundantly. And he was showing me that the issue, the fight, the war, what the enemy has been trying to kill, steal and destroy has been your heart. The enemy has been coming after your heart since you first even knew you had one, before you even knew you had one. He's been coming after your heart since you were just a small child because he knew the heart that the father had placed inside of you. He knew that heart that you had had set you apart from the crowd. It had placed you in a special place because you had been given this heart by God because he already knew that he was going to, that you were chosen. The father placed you in your mother's womb because he knew one day he knew the call that was going to be on your life. And he knew that your heart mattered through it all. And he took me 
to John 15. Now, those of you who know who've been watching this channel, I just did a word on John 15 verses 15 through 16, and I'm going to attach it here. But when he had me go back to John 15, and he was just focusing my eyes on that, not the, the first part of the uh, scripture, but he had me go down. He had me go down. And I went, I was drawn into John chapter 15, verse 12. And I'm going to read 12 through 13. And when I read this, I've read it before. I've read it before. But when I read it this time, there was such a pour. Like I instantly began crying because I could feel the weight on this word. And so let me get to it. This is John 15 verses 12 through 13. This is red lettuce. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. He's calling us, thank you, Holy Spirit, to love one another as he has loved us. And the Father is so beautiful because he took me back. He took me back to December 2007. He took me back to when I was 27 years old. Now today I'm 44, but I was 27 years old when he sent his prophet to speak over my life. And when this prophet came to speak over my life, my heart was broken in a thousand pieces. I was so wounded. I was so mangled on the inside of me that when this man of God began to speak to me through a three-way call, not knowing me, I heard God speak through him. And he started to speak things that I know God could have only told him because the friend that connected him with me, I hadn't talked to her in three years, almost four years. And so there was no way he could have known the things he was saying. And as he was speaking, I started to get nervous because I was knee deep in sin. And I'm like, is he going to talk about all these things that I'm doing? <laughs> And he didn't bring one thing up. You know what he brought up, warrior? He brought up my heart. And what he said to me, and I'm going to say it now to whoever's listening, to whoever needs to hear it today, because he said it and it pierced my heart and it stayed with me. It was a seed that stayed with me. He said, Karen, and I'm saying warrior, warrior. You have a heart unmatched by most. And you know what happens when a person has a heart unmatched by most? They get hurt a lot. But fear not, for God is with you. And he began to speak out these things that I would be, even though I couldn't see any of the things he was saying, he began to speak life over me. He began to speak light over me. But when he came for me, when the father found me, when he sent his mouthpiece to me, he didn't see me, the, the filth I was in. He seen my heart. And that is why my ministry is based on love because that is where the father found me he went straight to the heart of the matter glory to God he seen that regardless of the things that I was doing my heart was between him and I and he seen he knew the foundation of my heart was to love and he began to take the broken pieces and put them back together but it was a process and somebody needs to hear that today so that they can be patient with themselves so that they can just endure 
and they can surrender and just let God be God and go through the process. Because what the Father is doing is He's creating in you a clean heart. And it takes time for Him to do that because the enemy knows the power of our heart. A heart that is yielded to the Most High God. A heart that was created to just want to really love. He will try to contaminate our heart through the relationships. Through the relationships, our earthly relationships. Because how many of us know a man's enemy is the enemy of his own house. The enemy's in his own house. So if you're a warrior that has been walking around with a broken heart, mangled on the inside, in so much pain, because you love in one way, but you've been hurt in a thousand others, this word is for you. This is an altar call for you. This is time for an immediate, a 911 heart surgery in Jesus' name. Because the Father needs you to forgive those that hurt you. Your mother, your father, your sisters, your brothers, your children, your spouse, your friends, those you've let in. He needs you to forgive them. And he's going to deal with you in the matters of your heart because from your heart flows the issues of life. And it takes time to heal. It takes time to go deep because sometimes we love in such a way that we forget. We've turned a blind eye to some of the pain, to some of the cracks that have been placed in our heart that the Father is going to uproot and heal and correct in Jesus' name. He's going to restore you. And after he restores you, warrior, then he's going to train you on how by wisdom you guard your heart. There's a scripture that says the first will be last and the last will be first. Because although many are called, only few are chosen. See, a lot of times when you have a heart unmatched by most, you put yourself last. And everybody and everything else comes before you. But when I got to the end of my process, as the father was cutting away the loose ends, what he showed me, he said, you've done everything I've asked you to do. But this one thing, you haven't loved on yourself the way I've called you to. And see, it was that decision to seek the father. On how to love on myself the way he called me to. That trained me on how to guard my heart. Because he showed me. He allowed my eyes to see and receive. To not shy away from the truth. That I am a miracle in motion. That I do have a heart unmatched by most. And with that being said. Everybody can't have access to me like I used to allow them to. There's certain standards of how I will allow someone to handle me. And it doesn't mean that I think I'm better than anyone. What it means is I've been trained by God to guard my heart, to see the value in myself. And so the father needs somebody to be encouraged today to see the value in themselves because you are a miracle in motion. And if you don't believe me, just breathe in and breathe out that breath, that one breath, that one breath proves that you are a miracle in motion in Jesus name. And so the father was showing me. That it's important that the sheep understand to look at God 
Because what happens is we look at ourselves and we start to misdiagnose what we think needs to be done. When the father is just asking for us to allow him to come in so that he can begin to do the work with us. He's going to sit with you and he's going to work on you, you and him. This is between you and God. So this is an altar call. And he's calling forth warriors to bring their hearts to the altar. So if you have been on this journey for some time and you found yourself weary, you found yourself feeling way down, you found yourself crawling to the finish line, this word has come to redirect you, to strengthen you so that you will gird up your strength and run in, run in, bust through those double doors. But if you are a warrior that you're tuning in today and you haven't seen the value in you, all you see is the mistakes that you've made. All you see is the times that you have slipped and fallen and you don't even feel worthy. You don't even see how the father could use you with some of the things that you have in your past, some of the things that you still have right in front of you. But I'm here to tell you today that this is an altar call. This is an emergency heart surgery. And the father is coming to be the master physician of your heart and to show you your beauty, to show you your value. Because your heart. And sometimes we don't see the value in our ability to love others. Even when they don't love us back. And that's all seeds. Those were all deposits that needed to be made. The father needed you to endure all the things that you have endured because he needed your heart to be sound. He needed your heart to be humble, to be able to be used so you could speak life and light into that sheep that needs to hear it. See, warriors, we are all sheep of the good shepherd. And when he sends us out on assignments, this channel is an assignment that he sent me out on. And what the father was showing me is every warrior, every subscriber to this channel is my family. It's my brother. It's my sister. It's the sheep that he sent here to this pasture to allow me to graze with them. We're family. This goes beyond blood to his blood, to the blood, to Jesus's blood. And so I love each and every one of you. That is why the father He knows my heart. That's why I get in the comments because I know it's only faith by faith that you guys even comment. It's by faith that the people put the thumbs up. It's by faith that you subscribe. And it's my duty to speak life and light over you. It's my duty to speak to you and love on you the way the father loved on me. Who I am today is not who I was in 2007 when I was 27 years old. That's why you don't judge a person. You don't judge God's sheep out of season. Don't put your eyes and mouth on somebody that you don't know what God's assignment is over their life. When he says, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm, he means that. See, when his spirit is upon you, then he has anointed you. And we have to beware of who we put our mouth on. I don't know who that's for, but we got to beware. Because we don't know what the father has assigned that first that person to do in a later season. 
Glory to God. But what the Father was showing me is every sheep that he sends to this channel, to this ministry, it is my obligation to do you no harm. It is my obligation to lead you to the good shepherd. It is my obligation to share my witness and my testimony with you because you are my family, because you showed up and you stayed. And see, a lot of the sheep have been wounded because they've been in places and spaces that didn't see their value because of how things looked. But I'm here to tell you that I will never forget the day the father left the 99 and he came after me. I will never forget where I was. See, only me and God know what he's done on the inside of me. I know what he's done on the inside of me. And he wants to do it for you too. That's why you're here. He wants to show you how to break free, to break loose. So you can enter into his rest. He wants to show you what it means. There's a scripture that tells us that whoever leaves, I just did a word, whoever leaves places or things, mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, children, sisters or brothers, for his sake, for the gospel's sake, will in this life receive a hundredfold. There's going to be persecution. But you're still going to receive in this life a hundredfold and in the life to come. Because the father already knew there would be some things we would have to leave behind. And so this is an altar call. What do you need to leave behind today, warrior? And we have to get to a place where we leave behind the offense and we bless the person. So we can be healed. God got you. One of the first things he told me was perfect love cast out fear. And he is going to make you sit at his feet. Sit at his right hand until you understand that warrior. Perfect love cast out fear. When you really know how loved you are by God. How accepted you are by him. How valued you are by him. Then it allows the space needed for you to let go. It allows the space that's needed for you to truly forgive. So you can truly be healed. Because you're not afraid anymore. You're not afraid of what someone else did to you. You're not afraid of them getting away with it. You're not afraid of the father advancing anyone. Because you have a, you're rested, you're settled in his perfect love for you. See, fear comes from the enemy. Fear of any shade comes from the enemy because Perfect love will prove to you there's no lack. You don't have, there's no lack of no good thing. That includes your protection. So you're not afraid of what someone else could do to you because you're loved in a perfect way. And you know that the father is a perfect parent. He's so perfect that he numbers the hairs on our head every single day. So he don't play about you. He's not going to let somebody come up into your house and just do you any kind of way because you abide in him. He's not going to let someone come into his house because he's a perfect parent. But even as an evil parent, 
even as I say this all the time, I'm not going to let nobody come in and mishandle any of my children. But if you don't believe that you are truly loved in a perfect way by God, you will continue to be tormented by fear in all kind of different forms and shades. And if you stick around long enough here on this channel, you are going to be reminded on how to cast out that fear and grab a hold of the perfect love. So that you can turn around and show that to someone else. Only someone that's been truly healed and believing that if nothing else, you are loved in a perfect way can turn around and tend to the sheep. The father was showing me he will heal you as you go. He will heal you as you go. He keeps that. He keeps in mind where you were at up until the point where you said yes. Now you got to give him time to reprogram you. But you got to move as he tells you to move. I think it's so beautiful that he just showed me today that on Jan July 5th of this year is a three year mark of this channel. And so he'll send you out. And he will heal you as you go, because as you go out, you're going to encounter things. And this time when you encounter them, you're going to have the tools and the weapons to destroy them. But you have to worry about your own works. You can't be pointing a finger because every time you point the finger, you give away your power. See, perfect love that has cast out fear will allow, position you to worry about your own works. You won't concern yourself anymore with what they did and how they did it or what they're doing now. You will focus on the most high God and worry about the work he's doing in and through you. You don't have time to point the fingers because you... Your heart is the one that's on the altar. Your heart is the one that's on the line. You have all power and authority inside of you because he gave it to you. And he has to train you to worry about your own works. <sighs> he showed me again out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What do you believe in your heart? Because remember, God sees it. Jeremiah 17 and 10 tells us, I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind to give to each and every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doing. And the father saying he knows there's no secrets between you and him. So, he wants your heart on the altar so you guys can go through it. You can sift through it together. Because what you're speaking is going to reveal what's in your heart. Whether it be good, bad, or ugly, it's going to reveal what's in your heart. And so the Father needs our hearts cleaned out for this next season. And he was showing me the beauty of Isaiah 61, verse 1, the whole chapter. But he was highlighting Isaiah 61, verse 1. When the spirit of the Lord God is upon you because he has anointed you. See, the father wants you anointed. And he showed me the four things, the four areas that this is going to touch. Your anointing is going to touch. He needs you anointed. So that you can preach good tidings to the poor. So he needs you processed from fear to strength. And the strength will be his perfect love. Because when you have his perfect love, you'll be able to speak good tidings to the poor. So you'll be able to destroy the spirit of poverty off of the minds and the expectations of the people of the most high God. 
You'll be able to heal the brokenhearted because you'll have a testimony of how the Father healed you. You'll be able to proclaim liberty to those who are bound because you'll have a testimony of how the Father took you from being bound and put you in liberty. You'll be able to talk about the opening of the prison to those who are bound because you will have a testimony, a witness of when you were a prisoner, when you were bound and the Father opened up those prison doors and set you free. See, your heart is required because it's your walking ground. It's the garden that you and the Father walk together with in. And so he's doing an altar call for your heart. And it's an emergency, 911 emergency heart surgery. Because it's happening now. Time is being, he's speeding things up in a good way in Jesus' name. For those who would just have the faith to believe it, even a mustard seed. To sow that faith today because the Father is saying it's elevation time. This is an independence, a kingdom independence, a kingdom rest that has been released to the children of the Most High God in the midst. But he wants you to understand his perfect love for you so we can cast out any fear of you not making it, any fear of you not being enough, any fear of you being rejected. He needs that all wiped away for what he is bringing you into. Because there's been a promotion and an elevation in the spirit of the most high God in Jesus name. And so I'm so excited, warriors, because this is a special word. This is a word of release in Jesus name. And the father was walking me through my testimony. And I just want to encourage someone today. Again, December 2007 is when the father aligned my past with his prophet to speak life and light over me. I was 27 years old. And so from at that time, after the word was spoken, I seen miracle signs and wonders. What this man spoke began to happen instantly. My mind was blown and it was enough to sustain. I was going to church. It was enough to sustain me for five months. But after five months, I went back to my old ways. But the seed remained in me. And so eight years, it took eight years from that point for me to come again to the end of myself. And for me to take my heart and make a permanent decision to give it to God. And I had to do this. It was in my prayer closet. It was just me and God. I had done so many altar calls in churches and I would still go home and turn right away, turn away, even when I had a heart in my mind to go the right way. But it was when I did an altar call in my room. In my sweet spot that is stuck in Jesus name, but I had to give myself time and the father wants you to be encouraged to give yourself time. It's been 17 years since this word was spoken over my life and I've been eating the fruit of it ever since but now it's the latter half it's the the life and the light he spoke over me that I'm starting to see. Because it took me nine, ten years to even receive that what he said, I could actually, that could be something for me. And so the Lord wanted me to share that with you. Because sometimes we look at how long it takes. We don't even want to give the Lord 90 days to fix our heart. But he's saying, give me time. And it may not be 17 years. My prayer to you is that it won't be. Because if you're here... If you showed up to this channel, then my ceiling, 
should be your floor. You should go higher, farther, faster than me because of the witness, because of the oil, because of my testimony. If you will grab a hold to it and search it out in the word of God for yourself, I promise you, warrior, you are going to touch things that you never thought you would. You are going to go places that you never thought you could. You are going to live in the abundant life all because you made a decision to love others like God loved you and to lay down your life, lay down your expectations, lay down your image and pick up his. Lay down your unforgiveness and pick up the pick up your cross and follow him in Jesus name. And so I don't know who you are, but I'm excited for what the father is about to break loose up off of you forever in Jesus name, because he's getting this clean heart in you. And then he's going to train you how to guard it. So it'll never be mishandled again, not by you or no one else in Jesus name. But stick around. And to those of you tuning in today for the first time, I welcome you. If this word blessed you, if you want to join the family, then hit subscribe. Get in the comments. Introduce yourself. We welcome you. You are our new brother, our new sister to the cousins. See, it's going to be cousins of watching this video too. So to you cousins tuning in today for the first time, you're unsure. Who is this lady? I don't know. But if you, even if you're unsure, if the word blessed you, just Plant the seed of a thumbs up. Plant the seed of an amen in the comments. See, the cousins will come through and visit, but they won't subscribe. But my family, my brothers and my sisters, they're going to subscribe. <laughs> so I love you, warriors. And I just also want to say, I send the blessing to my subscribers. I send the blessing to those of you I don't even know what to call you, but I want to say you're my faithful subscribers because I want you to know that the seeds you sow into me, into this ministry, when you get in those comments and you leave the comments, I read through them. I've been so blessed by your revelation, by your prayer. It's been so strengthening to me. Those seeds are so powerful and I love you guys for each and every one of them. I truly do. That's how the father, that's how I know you're my brothers and my sisters. That's how I know we're family. Scripture says those who do the will of God, those is my brothers, my sisters, my mother. <laughs> so I love you guys. What else do I have? I want to get everything out. That's it. That's it. Words. Check out the description box. I'll put some scriptures in there that will solidify this word so you can study them out for yourself and hear what the Holy Spirit has to say to you. I'll also put some information how you can contact me. If you're my family, you're my brothers and my sisters, and I know that you like this video, you put an amen in the comments. I know you already got the bell hit so that you can hear when a new word comes out. I'm just believing also that you're already on my mailing list but because you're my family so if not all the information will be in the description box below anything you need to know about me and how to get in touch with me is in the description box below because I'm here I'm here. You guys can reach out to me in Jesus name. He's placed me here for a reason and a season. And it's a now time on this word. So I love you warriors. I pray that you will surrender your heart yet again to the most high God in Jesus name, that you will allow this word and his word to wash away any doubts, to wash away any brokenness, but that you will be made healed and whole, lacking nothing, that you will allow, have the patience to allow the father to do what it is he has always designed for you. And I pray that you feel his love, you receive his love, and then you share his love. 
I pray that his spirit be upon you. I pray that you don't run away from your anointing because of fear, but you press in to your secret place. You press in to the presence of the most high God and you let him teach you, train you, develop you, restructure you, rebuild you, renew you. In Jesus' name, for his glory and for your good. In Jesus' name, I love you, boys, and I'll talk to you soon. See, when I think about you protecting me from every scene, when I think about your